Oh boy, this one has turned out to be a favorite of mine from this house. It's really, really great. This is Sarah Baker Perfumes Ludo, a new fragrance from this house. Although it reminds me of another fragrance from this house, I'm gonna let you know all about it, but we've got a great smelling fragrance here for the house of Sarah Baker Perfumes, created by Chris Maurice. Do you guys know who this perfumer is? He's a great perfumer. He does some amazing fragrances, and this one I can't get enough of. Um, I actually sampled it directly from Sarah Baker, who was visiting San Francisco last summer. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, wow, this is really, really great. Either way, I'm gonna let you know all about Ludo, the latest fragrance from Sarah Baker Perfumes. We've got a full bottle giveaway worldwide and also two sample sets to give away as well, all worldwide. So if you want to find out and have a chance at winning the fragrances or sample sets, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. And yes, today I'm talking about Ludo from the house of Sarah Baker Perfumes. You know, it's interesting because Sarah Baker Perfumes launched a uh, less expensive S. Baker collection fragrances last year. One of the fragrances in that collection is called Symmetry. And it was my favorite in that collection. Once again, it's created by Chris Maurice. And, you know, I really liked it because it was oud, slightly animalic, but it was actually a great entry level oud fragrance that uh, anyone that needs uh, you know to kind of explore this kind of a note and uh, find fragrances I thought would be a great uh, fragrance plus it's uh, under a hundred dollars uh, and also it's an oud that's kind of fresh has fresh notes citrusy notes like orange blossom and also pettigran so it contrasts with this kind of like slightly animalic oud a great scent but as I said, it was my favorite of the collection of five uh, S. Baker uh, fragrances, but as soon as I smelled this, it did have that reminder of uh, the uh, fragrance symmetry, but this is a lot more, and uh, it's very, very delicious because now we've taken this particular fragrance and uh, the kind of style it is, and kind of go into a, a slightly gourmand direction, which makes for a really, really delicious fragrance wearing experience. So I'll let you know about Ludo, but before I I do if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed please do click that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so how many of you know Sarah Baker perfumes do you own any of her fragrances have you heard about the brand let me know put some comments down as I said I actually uh, met with Sarah Baker who was visiting San Francisco and she actually showed me a sample like she ac actually had me test it out as soon as I wore it I was like I'm getting creamy white chocolate from this but lots of oud it's a little animalic but it's really really delicious so I'm glad it's launched and now I'm really really enjoying this fragrance and once again it's created by Chris Maurice 2021 launch it's Ludo price is $155 for 50 ml but this particular fragrance is Extrait de Parfum so higher perfume oil concentration in comparison to the Symmetry which is a little less than that but what we have for notes for Ludo are at the top Bergamot, Neroli, Pettigran black cherry, heart notes features, cypriol, orange blossom, white chocolate. Finally in the base notes you've got Laos oud or Laotian oud, Suyufi agarwood, musk, amber, and vanilla. So what do we get with this one? First of all I also want to ask you do you know Chris Maurice's creations? He's a great perfumer. I enjoy his creations uh, especially for Zerzhov. He does a lot of great fragrances for that house. I'm a fan of that house and all the fragrances. So it's a given I would really enjoy this one because he's done a lot of gourmands for Zerzhov. He's also done a lot of ouds. And we've got kind of like the combination of the two here. Although I wouldn't call this one an over the top gourmand. It kind of lightly hint, hints at, uh, you know, gourmand touches because of that creamy white chocolate that's in here. So that's why I'm kind of like calling it maybe a light gourmand fragrance. But uh, initial blast with this fragrance is citrusy. You have that bergamot, neroli, pettigrain, kind of like a, you know, a mashup of those notes with a light hint of black cherry, although I would call this more of a, you know, citrusy start rather than a fruity cherry start, but I'm picking up light, very, very light hints of that black cherry that's at the top notes, which uh, is kind of unique contrasted against the citrusy notes that's up top. And of course, bergamot, 
is a citrus. You got the juice of that most likely here. Then you have the neroli, which is the flower of the bitter orange tree. You've got the pentagram, which is the leaves. So it's a great combination of notes. But you know, in the harp, you're starting to experience cypriol. And cypriol is this really, really interesting note that I enjoy. Uh, and it's kind of like a cross between vetiver, patchouli, woods, uh, you know, things like this. And to me, it also has kind of like an aged wood kind of a smell. Uh, that's the kind of smell it is. So you, it's very, very prominent. And once you figure out the smell, you'll really, really, you know, you know, pin it out, like pick it out of uh, fragrances. And it's pretty strong here. You definitely have a standout note of Cypriol, which contrasts beautifully with that white chocolate, which is in the heart. You start experiencing the creaminess, not necessarily milky, but more like thick cream chocolate. And what is white chocolate anyway? You know, uh, it's not so distinct as a smell, but uh, there's this absolute creaminess here uh, that uh, is contrasted with that Cypriol. There's a little bit of an orange blossom note in here as well. And I like this interesting combination of lots of citrusy touches, but more floral and leaves uh, with an oud fragrance. Uh, so going back to Symmetry once again, whereas this one to me was more of a fresh oud experience, this one has more warm touches because we're getting to a lot of warmth in the base. And that white chocolate, even though, you know, it's got sweetness in there, of course, it's creamy. And uh, I wouldn't necessarily call that an ultra warm note, but you know, it's got the warm touches uh, developing slowly, which is gonna be the, the nice transition to the two kinds of ouds here, the Laos oud or Laotian oud with that Suyufi agarwood. Suyufi agarwood is fairly new to me. In fact, I haven't seen it come up before. Also want to say the Laotian Oud and also the Suyufi Agarwood, there's so much of it, you do experience the animalic qualities of it up top. And that's something you should definitely be warned uh, about with this particular fragrance because in comparison to this, I don't get much animalic here. It's lighter. Here I get a lot more animalic touches and I'm assuming because Symmetry has Laotian Oud or La Laos Oud mentioned, but no Suyufi Agarwood. So I'm assuming the combination of the two Ouds here in the base is is giving me more of an animalic experience, which is really, really nice. Uh, and it's great because this kind of a uh, animalic oodiness is uh, taking uh, the fragrance into more of a luxury kind of, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, I'm not saying it's like a Frederick Mall, the night kind of a fragrance, but just kind of like a hinting at that kind of a very luxury, pricey, oody kind of a fragrance experience. But in the base also, we've got this amber and vanilla note, and we have white chocolate, you know, like transitioning into the base notes as well. So you do get a lot more, uh, you know, creaminess here and uh, ambery touches with uh, those notes, but really uh, becomes very, very woody and musky as well in the base notes. I think this is a great fragrance, really, really wonderful. My favorite fragrance from this house, I really love gourmand, creamy, kind of uh, chocolatey fragrances, although, as I said, not necessarily similar to dark chocolate or, or, you know, like chocolate that we're kind of familiar with. White chocolate, to me, is more like a cream experience rather than a thick cream experience rather than like the actual chocolate. But uh, it's really, really a wonderful fragrance. I like the contrast of the chocolatiness or the white chocolatiness with all those animalic ouds in here. And then also the citruses because, you know, we're paying, you know, paying tribute to all the citruses. Not only do you have the bergamot, you've got that neroli, you've got the pettigran, and you also got that orange blossom. If you don't know the difference between orange blossom and neroli, it's the same flower. It's just uh, the different uh, process of extracting the oils from uh, the flowers. But a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. I really, really enjoy this one. I'm also gonna do another quick um, comparison here. If you're familiar with something like um, Chanel's uh, Coromandel, not Sycamore, whereas uh, it says that there's white chocolate in the notes there. Uh, that's kind of a similar idea here, whereas that is patchouli and white chocolate. Here it's oud and white chocolate, and they really do w work wonderfully together. Really, really do uh, does that. Uh, for me, I think if that white chocolate creaminess was not in here, it would be an overdose of ouds. And here it works because it's not as overwhelming as it is here and also as it is an animalic form here in comparison to that. So that white chocolate kind of balances it out similar to like the Chanel Acora Mandel as well with that patchouli and the, the white chocolate touches. Such a great release. I think this is gonna be a really big hit 
for Sarah Baker perfumes. Again, my favorite from the collection. There are other fragrances that I like uh, from this house, but this one definitely is uh, one fantastic fragrance experience. And I think it's perfect to wear uh, in the you know the fall, autumn, uh, and uh, winter uh, days. Uh, just the kind of fragrance it is. Uh, and it's got great, great longevity with the fact that it's Extrait de Parfum and it lingers on for a long time. Just be warned, as I said though, it does have animalic touches. I find that part about this to be sexy, and I'm not necessarily into an overdose of animalics. I can't tolerate it, but here it's balanced in a way that I can totally wear this and really, really enjoy it. It's just created very, very perfectly, and you can tell the perfumer that she's used today in this fragrance is uh, very, very, uh, you know, uh, qualified to do great fragrances like this and uh, knows and has got the talent to do fragrances like this, as I should say. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Ludo. And I told you my, you know, the comparison between the two as well, Symmetry and Ludo. But let me know what your thoughts are. Have you sampled Ludo yet? What do you think about it? Put a comment down so I can find out. On to the giveaway. We have one full bottle giveaway of Ludo for a subscriber of this channel from the entire world. Also, we've got two sample sets of the x de Parfum fragrances for two additional subscribers of this channel. To participate in the giveaway, let me know what you think about Ludo. What sounds great to you uh, about Ludo? And also, put down your country. If you're commenting from the USA and you're participating from the USA, please put down your state state as well. Either way, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today to watch my review for Ludo from the House of Sarah Baker Perfumes. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos and giveaways very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.